It is 90.3 KEXP. We stream all over the world at KEXP.org. My name is Troy Nelson, and I am very happy today because we have Israel Nash live here in the KEXP live room. And if you're all ready, take it away.
It's Israel Nash live here, 90.3 KEXP. Those songs, Lucky Ones and Rolling On, both can be found on the new album, Lifted. Welcome to KEXP, Israel, and uh, everybody else. It's good to be here. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Thank you so much for taking the time to do this. And I know that you've had many, uh, you've uh, traveled many times in your life, grew up in Missouri, moved to New York, and are in Dripping Springs, Texas. Yes. What can you tell people that don't know what Dripping Springs Springs, Texas is like? Um, it's just a little slice of heaven west of weird, you know, the hill country, the gateway to the hills and uh, a gateway to, to to just creating and me, for me, being out there in the land and the country. Mm-hmm. And it's only, it's not far from Austin, Texas. No, it's like 35 minutes down 290. Okay. I don't know. You right. know. And do you think that the uh, countryside and landscape and the wildflowers that are out there influence the music that you, you're creating? Yes, for sure. I mean, I think that that really, moving from New York and, you know, being a country boy, I was telling the story earlier that uh, my grandparents had a few thousand acres in Missouri and had a cattle farm. So I go there frequently and ride horses and do things in the country. Mm -hmm. And as I got older, I would go out there and bring the guitar and find, uh, you know, a nice isolated space out there and, and right. So mm-hmm. I have a very s- been, similar situation because yeah. I'm from the Midwest and then I moved to New York <laughs> and I know what that feels like. What, yeah. uh, what was it like for you going to New York? Um, from Missouri? I mean, there's so much energy, as you know, I mean, you, I, I'm assuming you had your eye on it for a while. It was something just kind of burning in your soul to get there. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and you feel that energy and you still feel it even if you haven't lived there. And anytime you go to these cities where there are people doing things and making art and, uh, you know, marching to their own drum. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's inspiring. So. Yeah, absolutely. I've also heard you say in the past, uh, you, you, I've, from listening to your records, your, your music is, uh, it's, it's beautiful. It's passionate. And I've heard you say in the past that one of the most rewarding things is when people come up to you and not just say, you know, Hey, that was a great show. People actually come up to you and tell you how much your music means to them on a much deeper level. Would you say that's one of the most rewarding things about yes. making music? I mean, I don't think I always realized that when I was younger, you just, you know, you kind of want to play your music and do your thing and you get out on the road and it's amazing. You got fans in places you've never been. Um, but I think over time, you know, the shows end, you know, and, the record cycles over and you make a new one. So I think you got to find greater purposes. And I think that the beautiful purpose um, for me is that music's just a vehicle to connect with, with people, you mm-hmm. know? So that's been recognizing that and appreciating that has been just incredibly rewarding. Yeah, that's wonderful. And also you've played the role of producer a few times as well, not only just for your own music, but I saw that you recorded the record from the Banditos mm-hmm. and also Ellen Sundberg. Yeah. Is that something you want to continue doing is uh, acting as a producer or playing the role of producer? Yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. You know, having the studio out on the land has kind of changed everything for me. This, uh, this record was the first one that I entirely had written in the studio, you know, pre-produced and demoed. And then we recorded the album there. Mm -hmm. So that was always the goal is to have a place that I could, rather than uh, having to travel around the world that I could just kind of walk in the backyard and Mm -hmm. hit up the studio and make music, whether it's my own stuff. And and it's good to be in the production role because you kind of get out of your own place, you know, and it's, and then it's a nice perspective to come back to. So I think the more music you can be writing and, and challenging yourself and working with other, other people, collaborating, those things always help the group. And then it also helps you, you know, for your own projects. Yeah. So you have your own recording studio out there. And when you're on tour like this, do you, uh, do you let other artists come in and record while you're gone? Do you rent it out? Yes. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's a full on studio. So, um, if I'm not making a record there, I'm not producing a record there. There are, are other people coming out and making records. So bring the band. We'll, we'll record anything, you know? So. Absolutely. <laughs> Well, uh, the new album lifted fantastic once again. And if you are already, I know that myself and the listeners would love to hear a couple more songs. All right. It's Israel Nash live right here on KEXP Seattle.
You're spinning me out in the Excellent. That's Israel Nash live here on 90.3 KEXP. The song Sweet Springs and Spirit Falls. All of the songs you heard today found on the brand new excellent album called Lifted. Also going to be playing tonight at the Tractor Tavern. So definitely go out and check out Israel Nash. And I want to thank you, Israel, Eric, Aaron, Josh, and Roger for stopping by the KEXP studios today. Thanks for having us and thanks for all you guys uh, keep doing for rock and roll. Absolutely. That was Israel Nash live here on 90.3 KEXP Seattle.
Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.